the Banshee. Originating in Irish folk tales, the Banshee is a female spirit said to appear preceding the death of a loved one. She will wail or shriek to warn family members of the coming disaster. Physically, descriptions of the Banshee vary from a one-foot tall old woman to a young woman in the family who died at a young age. The Griffin A hybrid of a lion and an eagle, the Griffin was a powerful, majestic creature of ancient Egyptian and Persian mythology. Traditionally, griffins were depicted with the body, tail, and hind legs of a lion in addition to the head, wings, and talons of an eagle. However, sometimes the art of griffins featured the creatures with lion's front paws as well. In legend, griffins were guardians over great treasure and riches. The Fauns Fauns, or goat men, were carried over to Roman mythology from the Greek satyrs. In turn, satyr's appearance was based on the god Pan with the legs and tail of a goat and the upper body of a man. In art, they also feature other goat-like features such as horns and pointed ears. These goat men offered guidance to travelers in need. The Mermaids Mermaids have a unique allure that has captivated people throughout history. Myths of half-human, half-fish creatures can be traced all the way back to ancient Babylon. Similarly, merpeople are featured in Syrian, Polynesian, and Greek mythology. While some cultures depicted mermaids as beautiful and romantic, sometimes mermaid stories took on a more sinister tone where they were capable of foretelling and bringing disaster. The Gnomes When you think of a gnome, you might picture your standard garden gnome, a small, cheerful guardian of flora and fauna. In some senses, this depiction isn't entirely incorrect. In European folklore, dwarf-like earth spirits called gnomes guarded underground treasures. Medieval myths depicted gnomes as creatures resembling little old men, often with hunched-over backs. The Kelpies A Kelpia is a shape-shifting spirit inhabiting lochs in Irish and Scottish folklore. It is usually described as a gray or white horse-like creature able to adopt human form. Some accounts state that the Kelpia retains its hooves when appearing as a human, leading to its association with the Christian idea of Satan as alluded to by Robert Burns in his 1786 poem, Address to the Devil. Leninshi. Both a muse and a demon, Leninshi is another one of Ireland's mythological vampires. The fairy was a beautiful woman who was said to give inspiration to poets and musicians, but at the price of their lives. She would make the artist her lover, sharing with them her intelligence, creativity, and magic, but when she left, the men would be so depressed, they'd die. Ling and she would then take her dead lovers back to her lair. Rather than directly suck the blood of her victims, she collected their blood in a giant red cauldron which was the source of her beauty and artistic inspiration.